now that this place is drained, this is kind of developing a whole new set of challenges. But I do think that this is a really cool idea now that I don't have to worry about oxygen in any way. Dang it. The purge left them behind, huh? Ugh. Don't make me have to fight things. I didn't want to. Ow. Well, I guess it's a good thing then that, uh... Woo! Time to follow up. Okay, hit the chest. Aim for the chest, please. What is behind me? The snap moss saw me. All right, that's fine. I guess I can fight a snap maw. If I really need to, but I don't want to have to if I don't need to. Okay, braiding table. Ooh. Excuse you. Can you stop this for a second? I need the shell. Okay. I'm gonna take a moment to get behind uh, this pillar. Is there anything that I would need? Key upgrade component. Okay. Contains resources if intact, perishes, persists when killed. So I can, I can kill this whenever. So, in that case, just, uh, ooh. This is not doing much. Okay, what, what, what was that weak against? Fire. Good to know. Don't move. One, two, three, four. Ah ha ha. I need some frost resist or something. And now I'm brittle. It's great. All right, keep going. Maybe uh, some of the weaker stuff. Hit one of the chill water containers. Okay, cool. It's dead. Did I need to really waste all that ammo fighting? No, I didn't. But how am I going to be able to take on this new machine that I've never fought if I don't take out something like a Snap Maw that I know I've faced a million times for fun in the previous game? That's the real question. So, and it's not like there's a shortage of... There we go. Plus, I wonder what was ever in... Like, the, the items so I can do upgrade later. Okay. Let me look at what I've got. In terms of weapons. So, because I want to do something with the coils. Okay. Edit coils. Do we have... I don't have anything stronger. Okay, I think... Okay, yeah, that'll do... that'll do more. But this would be better. Let's... also take a look at what else we have. And falling or sliding... Critical hit... Increases range damage for a limited time after melee hit... Stealth damage... wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I think we're good, but yeah, that's got a better thing. Okay, I think we're set. Though I may have to change some things around uh, at a later point for what we're going to be fighting next. Hold on, one more thing before I go.
One more thing before I move onwards. My outfit. Okay, so I have quiet movement and fire defense. Um, silent strike heal. So far that doesn't seem bad, but... Um, let's... Play with the fire defense, yeah, because I knew I'd have something better. Should I bother with the fire defense, though? Range defense... Like, quiet movement's great, but maybe I should be using the plasma defense. Fire defense, eight. Yeah, plasma's gonna have to be the way to go for right now. Just because I keep having to deal with those Hephaestus bots for now. Alright. Um, did I just pass a gleam? Poseidon is through there. But where did that machine go? Probably behind me. Aloy! It's a miracle! <gasps> Run! Run! No miracle, did I did you, something. Did you lower the waters? Yeah, but there's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Yep. A giant whale-like thing. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. Oh, don't tell me you guys are gonna die. Are you crazy? Hush now. Shh. Yeah, that's true. And they knew we have to help okay, her. Then. What do you have available to you? What are you gonna use? Stay up here and start firing when I engage. Yeah. Is that a tall neck disc on its back? <laughs> that dude. Okay, there is jump tower, so this thing's gonna flip its body all around. Get to that overhang. Okay, tag that part. So we need the tail. Needs resources. Okay, we can get ice. There is a lot on here. Okay. Be prepared. Okay. One. Come on. Let me get that tail. I hate having to do this. Okay. Come on. Let me. Ugh. Okay. Maybe it'll go over that way. Okay, just duck and hide. Maybe when it calms down, because the first goal for me is getting that tail off. If it keeps flopping, that's gonna be a little hard to do. Okay, come on. Ooh, all right. Ooh, it sprays water, I like that. Oh, so they made it very Nessie-like. Okay, it's looking. And come on, stop moving that tail around. Oh, is he aggro, are, are they aggroing him? Is that why he won't calm down? Okay, well. Show water it is. I can turn, this turn what around? Freeze it entirely. And then if we're lucky, do something to destroy that tail. Okay. Ah. Oh. Fingers crossed it's not scalding. One, two. 
three. Oh. Come on, move, girl. Uh, this rope caster is way trickier in this one, by the way. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, just keep moving. Come on. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, I hate this thing already. What is going on over here? Oh. Just keep running. Oh, come on. Get up, girl. Jeez. Oh. I just want that tail. All right, come on. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. I want that tail. Get it, eat it. Ugh. This is totally bogus. Okay, come on. Whoa! What on earth was that? Oh, dude. else that's not this. Come on, come on, move. Oh. Okay, come on. Preferably, what would be great? Something along these lines. Come on. Die. Come on, drink it. Okay. Down it goes. Tell me I got the component removed. Aloy. <laughs> you did it. I don't think I did. Fine, I at least killed it. Come on, gentlemen. Oh, it is an awesome and forge, as Aaron would say. Oh. <sighs> that gave me anxiety. I'm entirely out of heels. And let's see what else I can fix up before I have to get out of this area. Hopefully that was the only big bad boss I had to fight.
Um, anything over here that'll give me heals? Well, that's better. At least. And I should get more, uh, food gruel. Is that another one? Ancient supply chest. I could probably use whatever's in there. Trust me, I'm gonna completely go talk to those guys, but first I need everything I can take. Whew. All right, let's get... One more, at least. And let's go with at least one or two small potions. There we go. Great. Glad you guys are thrilled. Okay. You guys all right? More than all right. This, you made your dream come true. <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little remnant. I'd have to agree. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, is she not? True. Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. I appreciate we'll the offer. The embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. These would be the embers. Though they did say they were turning all marine-like. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that I need. Is there anything under the water here? Nope. I just thought maybe like. You know, with this being an RPG, this would be the place that you would want to hide the extra stuff. Time to convince it to come home, no less. Fingers crossed that I can. I don't know if Poseidon's going to be as easygoing as Minerva. You'd think that Poseidon would be smart enough not to flood its own servers with water, but... Who knows, honestly. Okay. Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. No problem. There's another data point. It's probably I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. This would be a great place for it. By. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. There. But I should be maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in a wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. He was right. He was talking about Morand. I'm gonna try to hold it together. Baked again? Hacked again. Partial. Hidden in the AC code, so someone must have inserted it via thermostat interface. Pretty funny, actually. You know that hollow ad for the Craveman revenue? Oh. No. Review? Review. Over at the vodka? Well, their uh, loincloths disappeared. Went on for almost an hour before it shut down. Chuckles aside, we can't let it happen again. I've been over the environmental and hollow systems, and they look okay. On your, si on your shift, who? Have a look at the water infiltration code. Hate to think what might happen if those systems were compromised. Would be a lot worse than a few naked Neanderthals on the strip. Yeah, no kidding. This place flooded. So, 
Here's the colonel. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. Don't fight me. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring the sign subordinate function to original code. What I have a feeling like our um, Odyssey friends are gonna get to Hephaestus before me. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Well, maybe if anything, I can provide water for the poor people stuck in the, the desert, the Tanakh. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. Well. Worland and crew must have headed back up top. Probably in those like carry but... And it looks like there's no more uh, fake sea wildlife. Not anymore, at least. Still, this place is beautiful. Yeah, this place is giving me Bioshock vibes. Even though it's got like this whole Chinese architecture vibe, it, I'm still getting those vibes. And I'm kind of glad, actually. Beautiful Chinese theater and entrance. Oh, no wonder why. There's hints of Art Deco mixed in with the Chinese architecture. That would be why. What's in here? I want to see first. Oh, a whole bunch of nothing. All right. Reel me in, coach. If it doesn't break. How do these guys get in? Is there anything more for me to find in here? I mean, this place is still like massive and cavernous for me to get to explore. It looks like there are just multiple ways up. Yep, and the ability to repel down so I can come back at any time. Are you telling me you can't get up over that ledge, really? Still, I didn't catch any of this beauty the first time. What do we got? Uh? So, let's see. Las Vegas, May 4th, 2060. 20 years ago, this week, Stanley Chen broke ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history, even though many Americans didn't want him there. As he struck his spade into the barrel, into the barren soil, the CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned Las Vegas into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic sentiment but how his immense fortune had cooled that down, finally warming Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Who would have believed that at the time he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era? But Stanley Chen has always been one to defy odds, literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the Old Tempo Hotel, Chen watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned before his very eyes, realizing too late that his once trusted lawyer and solid critical patent had sold critical patent info to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of busted deals wiped him out, leaving him with only $88,000 to his name. Devastated, Chen decided to leave his fortune, his future to fate. He went to the casino floor and placed all 88,000 on a roulette wheel. Number eight. It hit, resulting in a 37 to 1 payout that netted him 3.2 billion, enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business. He threw himself back into his work, eternally thankful for his lucky new lease on life. Five years later, 
It wasn't Chen that needed saving, but Vegas itself. The hot zone crisis had strangled tourism. Years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the country completely. Water in critical demand everywhere was now only too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed the only option. The City of Lights was about to go dark forever. But Stanley Chen couldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned 3.2 million into 200 billion, selling water filtration technology that did something, apparently. Has it cut off before it could finish the idea? Still, that's incredibly captivating. It started right here, more than 30 years ago. The roulette wheel. Back when this casino was still called the Temple. One big bet turned my fate around. But now, fate's dealt its cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time. And the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Oh, I have a recording from Stanley Chen. An elevator. Marlon must have built this before the place flooded. Nice Good on him. Nice not to have to climb back up. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. I didn't want to have to if I didn't need to. Do I still have to jump across? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, no. I don't have to. Just took me up to the top floor where there's this hole. And they've completely cleared out. Too bad. I'm gonna miss those guys. Oh! Oh, tell me he's gonna get to see all the pretty lights. Oh, I hope so. For his sake. And I used so much of that stuff. There we go. Just top everything off. How much did all this cost? Billions. Oh. But oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There you go. The dreams come the true. Dream realized. As old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Why? Oh, no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Seeing Folks it in the old one girl of glory. To take it all in. Plus, the City of Lights, reborn. Food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Yeah, don't forget, games of chance. An oasis of in the desert. Had there for certain. <laughs> the revitalizing of Vegas. I am. Um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. I'm gonna try to hold it together. The city of lights. If Moreland and crew's gonna stay. Back for I them. Should come back and check on them later. Yeah, I for agree. Now I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osram Tinker who's out on her own first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Am I wearing the mask? No. Okay, cool. Oh, man. I mean, you'd have to clear out all of the all of the bots first, but... They're 
bringing back the glory that was Vegas. And all of the parts of it that were problematic. Place for kids. Oh. Look at this. A card. They have so many great ideas. I'm so proud of them. I don't need the drone. Um, where was the girl that set out west on her own? Was she here? Yeah. But first I want to go to Gaia. I mean, that's not going to advance the, the, the story plot, right? Let's just travel straight to it. I'm so, I'm so proud of them. And I'm so glad that Chen's last wish could, could live on. That he was right, that there, that there's going to be somebody that's going to look at everything that he did with wonder and awe and find meaning in it. It, it wasn't the three that, that brought back Vegas, it, it was Chen. And I'm I'm sure either Chen, if they figure out how to get him to live forever, or his descendants are going to love that. And I wonder if we're going to find some sort of symbol of the three that came to visit us all there. Oh, do we have more rumors while I'm here? Might be, perhaps, a good I idea to sit. Champion. What do you got for me? Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Salt Bite. Got the it. cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. Good to know. I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Thank you. That will be quite helpful. Aaron is probably back. At least by this point. I have to climb all the way back up too, don't I? Yep. Thank you. Well, at least I don't actually have to climb climb. There we go. We have supplies. I think. Hey, guys. Yeah, we have supplies and lighting. Oh, I could use that. Look at this. We have the things from Plain Song. An office with a bed. This is probably Zoe's room. And the servers should potentially be getting more functional as time progresses. The bathrooms and showers might not be... Oh, they might be usable when I give this back to Gaia. Those might be openable soon. And, and we have a kitchen. Oh, whoa. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. This is my room. Since we're going to stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, or it'll be safe. No. Oh. Examine it. No. Oh. And my bow. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. No. Oh. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. No. Oh. This has definitely got to be my room. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. Yeah. I think he was really looking forward to going home. I'd have to agree. And then we even have my stash. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Three arrows in the head, just like Aloy. Any, um... 
Any new updates, so since uh, you've been learning? Aloy, welcome back. Hey. Oh well. I should get going. I, I thought maybe you'd have something studies. new. I mean, hopefully she's learning a lot more. Is Farl and Erend here then? With all this stuff here, I'm inclined to believe so. Uh, I didn't need to open that. Okay. Welcome back, Aloy. Hi, guys. Please merge Poseidon with me. Afterwards, I must Strong discuss surveys. an important matter with you. Gaia. What is this? Yeah. It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Probably all the drone locations. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I see. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. Yeah, the if domes I've seen the out in the wild. In the wilds, I could get the data from them. Use it to reconnect them and restore the display. Good. Good to know. Here is that back for you. I need the, the kernel back when you're done with that. Welcome back, Poseidon. Okay. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia. Aluthia frequency. Aluthia. That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Which one was that again? Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. R O W S O S. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. Ah. A word of caution, Aloy. It says beware, it so. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. Yeah. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Okay. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Eleuthia wants to get to back to you. The appearance of the desire to do so. Yeah, that's I'm fair. I'm also uncertain. Why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or? Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If okay. they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. They're looking for you. Right. Aloy specifically. So maybe it's not them then. I mean, unless they're trying to draw out the other clone. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay. And what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have <laughs> queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Hmm. Perhaps All right. its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. That's a good point. 
All right. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! Hey! No Guys, you're back! I included Aaron and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I appreciate you, I Gaia. I that you should not investigate this alone. What yep. if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. That's why if I don't want you involved. If it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. That's why we're following you into fire. I'll be careful, and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We're going now? We'll for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. I don't want to go do this quest, though, right now. I would rather we go and wrap up uh, some other quests. I'll check it out when I can. Okay, this is it, right? Nope. Would have to be Looks after. Like I was able to unlock that door. What was this? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. The gaming center. That's too bad. Well, it'll become something else now, I guess. There has to be more to this data. Oh, okay. Barl what new info do you have? Partner. Learning is best done together. How's your training going? We've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. It's coming, dear. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. Yeah. That's not You've been getting entirely wrong. Island, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. <laughs> yeah, well. Right, I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Yes, actually. Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. Do I have do I have to? Because I want to do something else first. Travel is not an option. Travel's not an option. Well, he said he's waiting at the west gate, so if I go to the east gate, I should be able to go out and travel. Because I want to finish my quest over here. Wherever that was, yeah. Here? I think. Yeah, I should have a quest somewhere over here. And... Did all my other quests go away? Everything else is on hold. I have literally no choices. I have to go. Man. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? <sighs> yeah. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses. I wouldn't have brought this unknown. back right away if I had known this, this was going to lock me into a quest. <laughs> oh. Oh, Errand. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh? Yep. <laughs> How very Osram of you. <laughs> Good thing I upgraded my gear. Ah! 
Oh. That's one of the Zenith, all right. Is she the one that's... She can't be working with them. There's Osram involved? What the hell? We're clever. Interesting. Eesh. That did not work out for anybody. Well, that takes the keg. Yep. We should probably check on the dying woman. Get what information we can off of her if she's not dead dead yet. Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Yeah. It almost feels like they're saying alien oh, to some degree. Than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost and live. I'm catching snowflakes on my lashes. Sorry, rabbit. Well, rabbit bone. She is probably dead. Nothing we could probably glean from her. It took down her shield. Good to know. So there is a way. Where was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. What? But it's Hello, gone. Verbena. What do you have for me? Well, go do your thing. I checked everywhere. Still no sign of the asset. Can we call off this pointless search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. The Spectre had instructions you to... You think you can manage that? Assist recovery Hold on. of the asset. I think I see something. I wonder what this asset is. Huh. Interesting. Oops. Sorry, got... Things I gotta figure out why they're not working. So interesting. If if there is anything to look at, it's probably going to be the. Um... Hello, come on, keep working. It's probably going to be the. Uh... The explodey thingies that they use. Oh, nope. Me one second while I'm organizing my life and drinking water because I need it. Oh, much better. Okay. The Knox Rebels, Asaram, Zenith, Freaky Machine. I'm I'm kind of with you on that one. Have any rabbits? Yeah. That looks like a prairie dog or something. Yeah. Hey, prairie dog skin. Cool. In the mountains with the snow? What is over here? Rudimentary camping looks gear. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? They must have known. Maybe the rebels were the ones that set off the SOS. It seems most likely. with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Can I retrieve a copy? <laughs> Telemetry indicated coordinates redacted. Malfunction detected. Self-destruct initiated. Tel Telemetry terminated. Shard weapon. Ah. <sighs> And still hot. Well, it's on fire, so. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. <laughs> Going down. 
rebels in Akaram, a zenith, and a freaky machine. I need a drink. I'm glad that we agree. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? Well, this was a we're not dead. Planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. Either they, they knew or they caused the it. Zenith to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. Electrified it. I was operating, it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. Yep. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Huh. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. For she now, at least. For something she Where's Varl? Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. Probably the clone. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing you said could be here? The Luthia? No, I think it's Elizabeth. I think it's the clone, Beta. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. Yeah, my money's on it being the clone. I'm because Elizabeth would not just stand by willingly, right? What you think, man? You've been in this about as long as we have. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. Yeah. That Zenith One of their the machines was killed was looking for something called the asset. I don't know what it is. But my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right. Okay. Head down. Yeah. Aaron, stay here and stand watch. That Zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Yeah. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. I trust that you'll be able to stand your own. Way cooler to glide in. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said Maybe the they... Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Or it could be someone else planning that it's... The people would come here looking for Eleuthia. That's another equally good guess Looks at this like rate. some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Move, Varl. I'm trying not to scan you. Mandalog. Storage unit accessed. Data transfer initiated. Operation suspended. Fusion reactor, reactor on standby mode. Download initiated. Beam cast initiated. Destinated redacted. Whoever this was, I think they already got Eleuthia. That's my bet. Yeah. I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Yeah, they've already gotten Eleuthia. Whatever it was. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. Probably set to destruct so too. Gone? If it was ever here, so, then probably. Exploring another far zenith ruin. But at least this one doesn't seem Let to have me. giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. True. So Eleuthia got sent here. They said that they lost the asset. Was it the steps? Because I think up the steps would be a dead end. Where? No, I guess it's not a dead end. Can I get in this? Nope, gonna have to find another way in. Jeez, this place is sprawling and massive. All this stuff. 
wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Ooh. Yeah. Shade. That sounds about right. That shade. Appreciated it. Ectogenic chambers. Like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. Where Beta what was made. For? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. That's incredible. This place keeps on going. Yeah. Okay, what do we have this time? Daniel McGill to Claire Nugent, spoon fed. January 18th, 2065. Claire, I wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust in storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge. What a bargain. And the guy heading up the Eleuthia subfunction, Patrick Brocard Klein, could practically see sparkles in his eyes when he was bombarding us with follow-up questions on ectogenic chamber design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Anyway, we're requesting additional material on nutrition delivery. Higher-ups gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Broker Klein will probably pee his pants with glee. Dan. Thank you. 